This will be the before video of some cut off plywood left over from when they built the barn. First thing I did was cut out the bottoms. Next step is to make the front and the back. You need four of these total, they're all the same size, which is 19 and a quarter inches wide and 18 inches high. So then I went ahead and cut out the sides. There's four of them, seven and a half inches wide, 17 and three eighths inches tall. Next thing I'll do is drill two two inch holes in the bottom board before I assemble any things for, for ventilation. The plans call for one four inch hole, but I don't have anything that can easily cut four inches without getting the jigsaw out. So two two inch holes it is. So once the holes are drilled, I've got this one eighth inch mesh openings that I'll fasten down. Those will be on the inside so that uh, ventilation can get in, but uh, bees and other critters can't get in through the bottom. Now I've got the bottom screen secured. This is the front, back, and one of the sides just propped up for showing you. Um, the sides are about five eighths inch shorter than the front and the back. Um, again, this is all just loose, loose fit. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put glue down all the joints. I'll hit them with a couple staples each. And then I will use just these little regular uh, inch and three eighths inch nails. Once the frame these is the nails that I'll use to hold it together once it's um, fastened quickly with some one inch staples. The entrances will just be two one inch holes that were drilled in and then connected with the jigsaw. And then I'll put this half inch hardware cloth, staple it down on there. That will keep birds and mice out, but let all the bees in and out. Here's what it'll look like. That you can see this a little bit better before I put the front part on. The frames will rest there. There'll be a significant open area below it, but uh, again, this isn't a hive where they're intended to live their, their lives. This is catching them and then transferring them into a proper box. So now the box is assembled and we have these uh, two inch deep handles. These will serve two purposes give you a handle um, and then also take up that room that the frame rest is gapped. So we'll glue and staple those on next. So once I had the handles on, I went ahead and drilled a one inch hole in each end, put some more one eighth inch mesh cloth in there. Uh, Could have used a half inch just for bird and mouse protection, but once you catch bees in this if you want to move them then uh, you only have to want to cl close up one exit. Next thing I did was cut out the pieces for the telescoping lid so this is the uh, five pieces we need and I'll glue them and nail them just like the case and then we'll put metal over top of it. There's the telescoping lid ready for metal. So the metal's cut it's one inch wider than the, the lid is itself and then it's just a little bit less than an inch wide off the ends. So the, the roll is 24 inches wide, the lid's about 22 and a quarter. So it'll be good enough for what it's for. So even so, the white side will be the top. I went ahead and marked it so it was easier for me to see. And then all I have to do is make four quick cuts right there. And then I'll bend it up and use those to tuck in the tabs. I should have added, there's actually two cuts on each corner. If you just cut down the line, then this tab won't want to bend in and underneath. So if you cut this down at the angle, it'll bend over and tuck underneath the end, which is how I like to do it. So the lid's bent. You use this little handbrake. I got it off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. It's 24 inches wide. Um, got two different depths of bend. Um, this is the deep bend here. It's about an inch. Um, does a really good job, makes a nice sharp corner. Uh, again, for just a small time person, it's perfect. So there it is, all complete. Got the metal top, I just used half inch staples on it. I turned the regulator down on the compressor so that they didn't poke, punch through the metal. Uh, it's ready, it can hold up to five frames. Um, I use all medium, so it'll hold uh, some combination of five medium frames, whether they're new, old, um, whatever. I'll probably rub the inside with some beeswax I have laying about. And the only other thing I'll do is um, I will add feet on the bottom so the ventilation holes can get some air 
and I may put some way to hang it on the back. Haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that. Some people hang them up high in a tree. Um, I sold my tree stand, so that's not a great option. So I'll think of something, but it's ready to go as of right now. Um, hope it works.